All right, guys, what up? Our city for Life, for us, and I'm our back with What Culture Pro Wrestling. We're here with WCBW Loaded. We just got done with True Destiny. Lost 8,000 bucks last, but our goal is eventually when we get to have it. All right, so, oh, what the fuck? Oh, um, all right, well, anyways, we I'll show you guys all this afterwards. I'll show you guys the uh, Nash, not the Nash, the original battles we were in. And all that type of stuff. And I'll show you guys the events because I forgot to show you that. Like the events of Ring of Honor and stuff like that. But anyways guys, we have a show set up our size. As you guys saw last time, we kinda get that up to twenty-nine. We get that over twenty-one twenty-nine percent. Our last show was a D plus fifty-one. We're expecting nine hundred and thirty people here, but we're not getting that. I'll see you guys at, I'll see you guys in the show. Alright, we have some pre show matches, but these are results from WCBW loaded held by Walk Coach Pro Wrestling and we're in front of 881 people in the Baz Hall. So it was in a pre-show bout they had these friends been to have much heat. Kylo O'Reilly defeated Joe Coffey and by by pitfall the brain buster. Joe Coffey improves their normal skills. So Kylo O'Reilly got a 43 in performance and Joe Coffey got a, is it Coffee Cafe? I don't know how to pronounce it. He got a 31 in performance so Kylo O'Reilly did what he knows, needs to do. So and then a Paul Robinson not Paul Robinson but in a pre-show match that had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat. Rocky Romero defeats Paul Robinson with, with the Foreign Devil. We need to get. Uh, so Rocky Romero got an awful on his new gimmick. No worker improvements. We signed Rocky Romero and Kyler O'Reilly. I was going to sign Rapuggy Vice, but I don't know about that. And then Kyler O'Reilly's like Super. Is it Red Dragon or something like that? And it's with. I, I forgot already. Then D plus 50, this is the final free show match. Minute pre show about the Hadith Trust, we didn't have much heat. Will Osprey defeated Brian Cage in 635 by pinfall to Oz Cutter. Got a 50 D plus, not bad. Brian Cage got a 15 performance, and so did Will Osprey. Next one. So the show opened up with 35 E plus. So Adam Blanc playing up, he says, Well, guess what? Tonight the main event will be Adam, Adam Cole versus El Vigero. And. That mean, and then whoever wins out of those two, whoever wins out of those two will be taking, whoever wins out of um, Adam Cole and El Guerrero will be facing Cody, will, ha will be facing Cody Rhodes, and will have a chance to face Cody Rhodes for the, for the WCPW internet title. I'm sorry, I, I just but butchered that. I'm trying to slow down my speak so you guys can actually hear me when I speak. And understand what I'm saying. Pre booking expected, yes, we can go. So, a 49D plus, so a decent match. Sack Sabra Jr. defeated Moose in 954 by pinfall with a penalty kick. So, Moose had a 36 in performance, and Zack Sabre Jr. had a 54 in performance, so not bad. And so, no work here for minutes. And then a C minus, 54 C minus. So, Cody Rhodes is standing in the ring with a rampage round. It's this hello people of what culture for wrestling. As you can see here, I have a must monster of a person right next to me. His name is Rampage Brown or Rampage for short. See me and Rampage right here in WCW what some people's asses and that's exactly what me and Rampage are going to do. So heads up Adam Blompier, I'm releasing Rampage on someone tonight. So I don't know who that person's gonna be, we never know. But Guess I guess Rampage is going to attack someone tonight. 61C, that's pretty good. EC3 is shown inside Adam Blompate's office asking for a title shot. Adam Blompate says this. All right, listen. Next, week main, next week's main event for WCPW Loaded will be this. You versus Ricochet, and whoever wins will be the number one contender for Drew Galloway's world title. Sounds good? All right, good. Now leave my office. So Ethan Carter III was superb working without a script. He had crowd in the palm of his hands. Really good. The world, fight, the world title feud have started with this segment. So Ricochet or Ethan Carter are going to win the title. So WCPW loaded next week will be Ricochet. Earth is Ethan Carter the third. All right. All right. Next segment. Ooh, yeah. A 42D. Not bad. And about that had decent wrestling, but do not have much heat. 
John Hedigan defeated Travis Banks in 6 minutes and 4 seconds by pinfall to start Champagne. Travis Banks had 29, 29 angry performance and John Hedigan had a 50. There were no worker improvements. So D plus 49. So John Hennigan, you know, he gets up from his, uh, from, you know, he's, you know, he's won his title and whatever. He won, no, I'm just, he won his match, right? And then Cody Rhodes and Rampage Brown go at, uh, runs after John Hennigan and beat him down and beat beats them down. Because guess what? Cody said Rampage. He's gonna release some, Rampage on someone, and Rampage has been released on John Hennigan. That sounds really wrong, but. Rampage is going after John Hennigan. So the Rampage Brown versus Hennigan storyline has good started with this segment. So 49D. So just not, oh my god. So there's just a hype video showing Adam Cool and Allegro. It's going to 47, 42D. Just shows, like, oh, they're hyping up the match that they're about to have. And, get, and the match gets a 52D plus. In a decent match, El Allegro defeated Adam Cool in 1218 by pinfall with an Operation Weardown. So Adam Cole gets a 53 in form to El Ligero had a 39. So El Ligero defeats Adam Cole. So at WCBW X, who wins? Yes. But the match, it will be El Ligero versus Cody Rhodes again for the internet title. Cody Rhodes runs into the ring and chases off El Ligero. So Cody Rhodes is in there in so yeah Cody Rhodes whoa 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 dang I forgot about that so Cody Rhodes and Rampage Brown runs uh run down there and chase off El Ligero. <laughs> All right the show gets a 53C increased popularity in 12 regions not bad not bad show I'll see you guys at the main title screen All right we are done with that one so I'm cool has now left through CPW and. WCW loaded got less than a 0.01 TV rating. Right. So nothing major there. But anyways, we're gonna look at show history. There was 6,000 people viewed it. That was our best show. No, it wasn't. Was that our best show? I don't think it was. Our size we went up by one in Northern England and in pop. And then we went up by popular importance. Yeah, popularity. So yeah, quick finance. So we lost eight thousand dollars, and we're gonna be losing a lot of money. <laughs> you just say that's gonna be like thirty thousand dollars, but it's okay. We'll be fine. We'll eventually move. Hall prospects, talk talk show, subscription journals. Who's hot? Who's not? All these people. Time, there's no one in time decline. I thought Doug Williams would be in time decline, but anyways. Our titles, I forgot to show you guys this. The WCBW went up, is now B minus prestige. Uh, Cody Rhodes now has a 46 prestige on that, and are the tag titles are 46. I need to get a tag title storyline going. So, you know what? I have an idea. I'm not going to spoil it here, but I have an idea. Alright, you guys, I'll see you guys around. The, I'll see you guys on. Okay. I'm going to look at the other show's ratings, and you and we'll see you guys at the other show's ratings. So, last week's NXT got a 44D, and the main event was Murphy and Blake De and Rezar defeated Di Dillinger and TM61, which they got a 39D. Alright, I'll see you guys at the next one. So, WWE had a pay-per-view this time, and it was an 81B, and we got 3,300... 315,678 bytes. I am so sorry. The main event was John Cena defeated Kane to retain his WWE World Heavyweight title, which got an 83B. Raw the next night had 19 million people, 19.1 million people view, and Jared KO defeated Big E and Xavier Woods. Then SmackDown got a C plus. They had 18.2 million people view in, and it was Cass, Miz, and Harper defeats Kalisto, Young, and Ellsworth in the 59C. Yeah. I don't know why that was happening, but guess what? It is what it is. I'll see you guys at the next one. Alright, so last week's Impact got a C plus 66, and the TV rating was 0 0.26, which is 199,000 people, almost 200,000. And it was the main event was Edwards. The, the Wolves defeated the Hardys in a 70C.
Last week's Ring of Honor show got a 762 C when the Young Bucks defeated the Future Shock. They only had three, they only had three things on their show. It's, uh, so Progress had an event. It was Endeavor 19, got a 45 D, and the and it was the main event was Pete Gunn defeated Bubblegum to retain his Progress title, and Alex Winster defeated Nixon Newell to retain her Progress Women's title. No, Alex Winster wins the Progress Women's title. So PWG held their event, which is PWG Bowie 2017. It was in front of 967 people, and it was a 54 C minus, in which Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Matt Seidel to retain his PWG World Heavyweight World Title, which was a 66 C. All right, well we're here with Lucha Underground. They had a 0 0.05 TV rating with 44,000, and the show got a 61 C. And the main event was Tex Texano Jr. defeated Ryan and Guerrero Jr. Enjoy Ryan and Guerrero Jr. To, to, to retain his Lucha Underground title. Not bad, not bad. Alright guys, so that is it. So, and actually, one of the big news things around here was that Shinsuke Nakamura was called up to the main roster. So anyways guys, make sure you guys do subscribe and hit the like button. And I hope you guys, I hope I see you around on my next episode of WCPW, which will be WCPW Loaded, obviously. And I hope to see you guys around. So make sure you guys do subscribe. Bell me, bro. I'm just kidding. But if you want to bell me, you can. I don't really mind. It's up to you. But make sure you guys do. Just hope you guys have a good day. Hope I see you around.